everybody. Welcome back to Double Your Sales Now. Today, it's just me and you. We're going to do a solo show together. How does that sound? Yeah? <laughs> I guess if we do that together, it's not really a solo show, but you know what I mean. Today, we're going to talk about how to write your multi-six or seven-figure story this year. Multi-six or seven figures this year. Not next year, not two years from now, not seven years from now. This year. I have a lot to say. <laughs> the uh, December was a very exciting month for us at Sales Coach Now, and so many things are changing. And I have to say that so many things are changing because of the pandemic. And we have really chosen, along with our clients, to embrace embrace the change, embrace the shifts, embrace all the things that are different right now. And it is not to take away from the suffering or the pain or, you know, any of that. So please know that my heart goes out to you and anyone in your family who's been affected personally, professionally, health-wise. I know we've lost people this year and that, you know, in, the, in 2020, and that breaks my, my heart, as I know it breaks your heart. At the same time, when things are really shifting in the world, we have to make a choice, right? We all had to choose in 2020 what we were going to create. And we could either choose to lay the businesses down, to go backwards, or we could choose to move forward. And I know so many of you on this journey have chosen to move forward. And I just want to congratulate you. Maybe you didn't end up where you wanted to. Maybe, you know, you were even a little bit in the negative, like whatever it is, it's, it's okay. And I know some of you have had your best year yet and congratulations for choosing that because it is a choice. And so I decided to do this solo show, you know, as we're in 2021 now, because I wanted, I really want you to write your multi six or seven figure revenue story this year. I'm going to show you how to write it. And then I want you to create it, right? Like it's writing it first, but there's some things like a lot of people do future pacing and NLP or they show you how to do scripting, but I always feel like there's some things that are left out. So I'm going to take you through the full process. And this is actually a sneak peek into some of the things we do in the 2X intensive. A few housekeeping things first though. As I said, you know, the, the pandemic really turned my business upside down because in March we went from being, you know, being a, a, an events-based business in person to being a, um, to being a completely virtual company. And we're not sure what 2021 is going to bring. No one is, right? And so we're continuing to stay very virtual. And, and at the same time, this model is serving our clients really well because you want to be virtual right now. Many of you, of course, want to make sure you stay safe health-wise. You're not really looking to travel. And we now have more international clients than ever before because we can serve a lot of people, right? You can just jump on Zoom and join us, which we're thrilled about. And so while everything you know has shifted, so much is going to be different for us in this next year. And yet a lot of things are saying the same. I'm saying the same, right? I'm still the same person. But what 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 I heard in 2021 was the call to really up-level my business because my clients, you, are up-leveling. And we've helped so many clients break through their, their first you know, six figures or multi-six figures or you know, get to that half a million dollar mark. And then we had our you know, top 20% of our clients who were working with us in our current, you know, our past programs and breaking through seven figures, which was amazing to see. Over the years, though, we've had so many clients go through sales camp that we realized there was a call for something else. And the pandemic opened up the perfect time for me to write the curriculum, get it done, get it out there. And what I've seen happen for our clients is, is incredible. You know, the 2X Intensive helps you double your revenue and shave 10 or more hours off your work week, week, which is at least 40 hours a month. So it's about scaling, but scaling the business in a way where you're not working more. In fact, you're working less. In fact, you're creating a business that you love, not a job that you hate. And so this, this 2X intensive uh, evolution has been so exciting. And it's what gave birth to the CEO Tables 2X Breakthrough Experience. It's our new year-long program. And we've had a lot of clients who joined us in the months of November and December in this new program. And I, I get goosebumps thinking about 
the shifts that these very courageous clients are making even during the pandemic. And I shouldn't even say shifts. They're making they're making quantum leaps. You know, going from 200,000 in revenue in 2020 to having, you know, a 70 or $80,000 month in January setting themselves up for their seven figure year in a very short amount of time. And so much of that is because they made the decision and got all in, which we're going to talk about today. And you've heard me talk about this before, but I feel like we really need to dig into this in 2021. Like you have to decide now, right, that this is going to be your best year yet, because if it's not, then when? When are you going to choose to have your best year yet? And I want that year to be now for you. So a couple other housekeeping things. If, if you're feeling the pull, I know many of you are, and you want to play with us at the next 2X Intensive. January is sold out. I have a wait list. It's done. <laughs> February is already filling up. And we're trying to serve as many clients as we can, but we're very careful how many we put in there. So you just go to salescoachnow.com forward slash apply, A-P-P-L-Y, and salescoachnow.com apply. It'll be in the show notes as well. Just send us the information, um, answer a few questions, and we'll send you the next steps for the 2X Intensive. And it's a two-day course. It's 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Time. So it's pretty pretty easy to navigate that. And um, what else can I tell you? It's It's designed to give you that model month template to create your $40,000, $50,000, $83,000 a month that you can do consistently while shaving off 10 or more hours a week. And if you've been reading my emails, you've seen we've had clients, one client shaved off 17 hours a week, another client shaved off 15 hours a week doing a job that she hated. <laughs> That's 60 hours a month. And that turned into a job for somebody else, somebody that was already on our team who was really excited to get the additional work. And all of a sudden, my client went from hating what she was doing, right, to loving the business that she wa- she had built. And the path from 200000 for her to 400000 that was her, her double, at a minimum, became very clear. Not only did it become clear, but she she realized that you know, she was doing things that she didn't like in in she's manufacturing business. So she was doing things she didn't like that prevented her subconsciously from wanting to grow the business. How many of you can relate? Like, can you relate to that? I know. I mean, for me, when I, when I'm doing things in my business that I don't want to be doing, that I don't like to be doing, it's very, very challenging, right? To feel excited about the business. And so Rebecca will say I'm the queen of delegation. Now, I learned that because I helped grow a $20 million company in my 20s. I had a whole team. I got really good at delegating. I knew how to delegate. And I took that same thinking into my own business. But most entrepreneurs don't have the experience of being a CEO for somebody else's business. So they don't don't develop the skill of delegating. So it's one of the things we dive deeply into in the 2X Intensive. And it's not just delegating at work, especially our ladies. Ladies, you're doing too much at home. I'm telling you. So many of our clients are so excited to get, you know, the work, just the home stuff off their, off their calendar, off their schedule. One of our clients enlisted her teenage sons, like they were right there. They're home all the time too. Like they can do a lot. They're very capable. And, you know, maybe they earn an allowance or whatever. And they're part of her payroll, who knows on the company, right? But there are people around you. Another client finally got a housekeeping service. She's making more than enough money to pay for that. But like there was just this family stuff that had prevented her from doing it. Others, I know another client who has a phenomenal laundry service. She tells me about it all the time. It was life-changing for her, right? Like there's there's so much out there to delegate and it's just time to let go of the, the guilt. Like who, you don't need the guilt. Let it go. Get the support you need so you can grow the business that you really want. Period. End of story. So the, that's like that's a little sneak peek, you know, for us where we're going. I, I will tell you, let you in on a lo- another little secret. Um, which is now not going to be a secret, but we sales camp is, is going to be done. Finished. We're going to deliver sales camp for first quarter to make sure everyone who's invested in it, of course, receives it. And then it's going to turn into a digital product of sorts. So it'll be out there, but it's not going to be our main focus. And I'll tell you one of our clients, I was just sharing this with one of our clients and she looked at me and on zoom and she said, thank you. 
And I said, what do you mean? She said, thank you for taking us with you. She said, I'm watching your up level and I want that too. And, and thank you. She goes, I'm glad you're getting rid of sales camp, but I'm not really getting rid of it. But she said, I'm, I'm glad it's going away because that's not what I need anymore. And that's what we're hearing from so many of our clients. Like they've broken through six figures, been there, done that. And we really want to specialize in helping our clients hit that high multi six, seven figures and beyond and beyond because there's going to be the and beyond. So that that's where Rebecca and I and our team are going this year. And I think you can tell I'm I'm beyond excited about it. I'm beyond excited about it. And I hope it, you know, as I'm talking about this, I hope it inspires you to think about what you're going to let go of in your business, what and what you're going to create in 2021 to really serve your clients. Because I'm not the only one who hears the call. We all hear it. We hear like what we hear the next level. We hear what we're being pulled toward. So the, the question is, are we, are we saying yes? Are we saying yes to what we're being pulled toward? And I hope you are. So all that, again, go to salescoachnow.com forward slash apply. Come and play with us at the next GN, or February 2X intensive. Also, um, if you love the show, and I hear from a lot of you, a lot of you email me and say, I'm so glad about the show, or I heard about the show from somebody else, or I've been look, watching you and listening to your show for years now. Someone just said that to me. If you haven't yet, please, please, please give us a review on iTunes because the reviews help other people see that they want to listen to the show as well. It helps everybody in the circle. It's, it's the domino effect of pushing prosperity forward. And once you leave a review, go to salescoachnow.com forward slash giveaway. Again, that's salescoachnow.com forward slash giveaway. And we have a special gift for you to thank you for doing that. So in advance, thank you. So with all of that, if you haven't yet, Get out a pen and piece of paper because you're going to take some notes. Now, I know some of you listen in the car and that's totally cool. Or you listen on your treadmill, also totally cool. Or your, what's that called? Peloton. I know some of you listen there too. Uh, So don't take notes if that's where you are, but file these things away. And when you're done with your workout or driving, write some notes down. Okay. For those of you who are sitting at your desk multitasking, (laughs) because I know you, Take out a pen and piece of paper anyway. Have it ready because there's going to be things you're going to want to jot down. And now some of you are full board, like you're like, let's go, Ursula. I'm ready for this. I've got you. All right. So have your pen and paper ready. Because let's drill into this. How to write your multi-six or seven-figure revenue story this year. This just makes me smile because I know, I know if you're listening to the show, you know, it's, it's beyond doubling your sales, right? It's, it's more than that. Our clients want to not only double, triple, quadruple their revenue, build a multi six or seven figure business. They want to do that, but it's because they have an amazing plan for their money. They know where that money's going to go. I just asked a client the other day, I'm like, where's your money going to go? Like she wants to go from, you know, low six figures to at least 350, maybe 500,000. And she had an exact plan. She knew exactly where she wanted the money to go. So important. If you don't know that, you got to figure it out. You got to write down money loves a plan. Where am I going to spend the money? Because if you don't have a plan for the money, it won't show up. It just doesn't. I've experienced it. Like you can't hoard the money. It's got to have a plan. And that doesn't mean you can't put it in retirement or give it away to your favorite charity. Not all of it, right? But give some away, um, buy the things you want. You just got to tell money where to go. So I was talking with this client. She knew exactly, right? She knew exactly. And I said, that's how I know you're ready to get to that next level because you have a plan for your money. So the money's going to show up. So first and foremost, like, you know, what, what is the plan? And a lot of our clients now also have a legacy plan. I was just talking with a client, another client recently, and she talked about her multi, multi multi-million dollar legacy. She wants to leave her kids someday. Very clear. Like she knew the exact amount, ready to go. Money has a plan. She also has real estate investing plans. Like there's a lot there. So just, I just want you to know, like know what the plan, know the plan. And now I'm going to take a step back though. So have the plan for the money and, and know what the, the dollar amount is, right? And then you have to make a decision. And while this seems like a small part of this process, it's probably 95% of it or even 99%. 
we have a lot of people who come and have conversations with us, right? Not everybody becomes our client. Not everybody decides to go into coaching, right? Or, or join our year long program. The clients who do though, they've made a decision. They've made a decision that no matter what, they are all in, totally in. They're in for their seven figure plan or multi six figure plan. They, they've decided. And once they've decided, they just know that the next step is to work with us. And I'm not everybody's coach and neither is Rebecca. We say that all the time. We're not everybody's coach. Like, but you have to go somewhere. Like you got to get the support you need. The top athletes in the world have multiple coaches. Anyone who's ever accomplished anything had a mentor or a coach or someone who taught them, right? So when you make a decision that no matter what, you're going to hit your goal, then you got to figure out who's on your team. I love the book, Who Not How, Who Not How by Dan Sullivan. He's a, an, a really well-known coach. He's amazing. That book, if you read no other books this year or listen to them on tape, read Who Not How. It'll, it'll change your business. It'll change the way you look at your business because he talks about the power of who is on your team, not how to get there. And so often as entrepreneurs, the first question is, oh, I want seven figures. How do I get there? How do I get there? And I'm going to share with you some of the how, but part of the how is the who. In fact, a bigger part of the how is the who. Who is your mentor and your co or your coach? I have mentors, but I love my coaches. The coaches that I pay the most amount of money to are the ones that move me the fastest. Because they know what they're doing and they know how to get there. I'm not saying every coach does, like you got to be intuitive about who you work with, right? But you got to make sure that they've done what you want to do and they're confident they can get you there as well. So I believe investing in coaching. I mean, I'm a coach, right? I believe in the power of that because when you pay for something, you're going to show up in a different way. You just are. And so many things I could say about this, but, you know, investing in yourself and your business and figuring out the who to get you there is so critical. I made some changes on my team this year because I needed new who. I needed who's who could get me to where I wanted the business to go next. And there weren't hard feelings. It was just like, I just needed different who's on my team. So do you. The who's who got you here. I'm starting to feel like I'm talking about um, the Grinch, right? The, <laughs> when the Grinch stole Christmas. Anyway, um, the who's that got you here are not the who's that are going to get you to the next level. And sometimes that's painful to think about, especially if you're like me and you don't like to let people go. I love people. I love mentoring them. I love seeing the best in them and I will see the best in them as long as I can. And I've had to learn along the way is that, you know, over time that even seeing the best in them doesn't mean that they're the best for the, this whatever I'm trying to do next. And that's okay. Like you have to separate that. You have to think of your business as an entity. It's its own entity, right? And to take the personal out of it, you can just ask, what is my business asking for next? I can tell you my business is asking to be up-leveled. It's asking for some rebranding. It's asking for a lot of things right now <laughs> that it's giving me a whole list of things to work on. Like what is your business asking for? And for most of you, your business is asking to grow and it's asking for some new who's to get you there. So really think about that. And so again, the first step that we, we were talking about here on how to write your multi six or seven figure revenue story this year is to make the decision first, right? Like choose the number, choose the number that you really want and then get in. I, wanna, I do wanna talk about that for a second though. This is another challenge that I see for a lot of CEOs is just deciding how much. Because we make up a lot of stories about why we can't or why we shouldn't or who are we to have that or that's not possible. And I've seen it like so Rebecca and I've just had so many conversations with clients who want to be in our CEO table to X breakthrough experience year long program this year. And intuitively I can pick up really quickly where someone's at, like what, like revenue wise, where what's calling them next and I'm right most of the time. So they might throw out a number. So let's say they've been at around 150,000 a year, maybe. And they throw out a number like 240. It's not enough. I can tell like pretty quickly, like they want more than that. So I got to dig in a little bit and find out what's stopping them. And then they throw out the number. It's like 350 or 500,000. And for some, it's, you know, seven fit, like it's even grander. And 
And the problem is when you don't choose the number that's choosing you, it's a lot harder. And I, I don't, I can't explain exactly why there's just, it's just this something I've noticed and I'm going to keep noticing it. I'm going to keep playing with it. And I don't know that we have to know all the, the details around it. What I do know is that when you choose the number that's calling you, you just get there faster. So for that client, 350,000 was calling her. When I called her out on it, she's like, yeah, it's more. It, okay, you're right. It's 350. I knew it. I was like, I just knew I could feel it, right? I could feel. And, and, and maybe part of it is that's, you know, what her business is calling out for. So what is your business calling out for? What's the next level? Because it's, it's there. And you, you know, like, even as I'm talking about this, like it's bubbling up and you're like, oh, you're pushing it down. I can't do a half million or I can't do seven figures. Like you're pushing it down. Don't push it down. Let it bubble up. Like be honest with yourself and choose what you really want. So that's like decide first and then get really clear on, on what the number is. Let yourself have what the number is. And then next, in order to write a new story, you have to let go of your old story first. And we all have stories. <laughs> let me tell you. We all, I mean, I'm laughing because I, I had so many stories. I've had so many stories. We have so many stories about why we can't. And when you tune in and you tune in and you really listen, there's a whole lot going on there about the story that, you, that you've told yourself or that someone else told you, or that you made up about your industry or what's possible or not possible. And if you're wondering, like, I don't know what my story is, all you have to do is write your new number down. So write the number down that popped up, say it's a half a million, write your half a million dollars down on paper and look at it. And then ask yourself, what's my story regarding why I can't have this? And see what bubbles up. What you, your job is to do, and you might want to pause this and actually do it, I recommend that you do, is take out a blank piece of paper and write your whole story out. Write the whole story. All the story that you have that you've been telling yourself about why you can't have that because it's there. The story is there. So write it down and then it, then come back. So maybe take a break, come back after you've written the story. All right. For those of you who are listening on the treadmill or somewhere else, like you're going to do this later. So those of you who have just come back, right? You've, you've written your story down, your old story. The next step is to tear it up and to release it and to put it in the garbage. Make sure it gets in the garbage. I'm very particular about that when we do this in, in a lot at live events. So take your story and just rip it up and just say to yourself, I'm letting go of this story. Once and for all, I'm letting it go. It's not true. And some of you will argue with me. You'll say, oh, it's so true. It's so true. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You created it. You created, you tell the story the way you want to. And often it's not in a way that serves you moving forward, right? It's just like, you know, you can have four kids in a family and everyone's going to tell a different childhood story. And really everybody did have a different experience. And depending on the rest of their life experiences, right, they have a certain way of telling the story and they can get very locked in. This from someone who's done that <laughs> and has worked on shifting and letting go of that, the old. So, so rip it up and let it go, put it in the garbage and give yourself permission to release, release the story. Just let it go. Because if you skip ahead and write a new story before the old story is complete and released, they, they kind of fight with each other. And then you, you, you just stay stuck. Like you can't have the new when you're holding on to the old. I think you've probably heard that before. A simple example is your closet. You know, if you want to bring in new clothes, you got to get rid of what's in there. Like nothing new will even fit in there, right? So you got to release that. So you got to make room. So now let's imagine you've, you've let go of the, the old story. It's done. Okay. Now you're ready. You're ready to write the new story. The new story includes reaching your six or seven figure goal at the end of the year. So I like to write the story like it's a journal entry. So for example, um, let's imagine that it's December 31st. Okay. December 31st, 2021. 
and you just had the most rocking year you could ever imagine. Way better than you ever could have expected. The most incredible year you could have imagined. And you reached your goal or something more, okay? So what I invite you to do is go ahead and close your eyes. I'm going to take you through a brief visualization, provided you're not driving or on the treadmill or on the Peloton, right? You're safe in a safe place. So just go ahead and close your eyes and imagine that it's December 31st, 2021. And you are celebrating somewhere with your special someone. Could be your best friend, significant other, husband, wife, partner, whoever you would be sharing this story with. So imagine you're there and maybe you're at the beach, maybe you're out at your favorite restaurant, right? Like that's going to happen again on vacation. Just choose a spot in your mind. And with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine that you're fully immersed in that moment. You're not watching yourself. Instead, you're in that moment, looking into the eyes of the person that you're sitting with. And what I want you to imagine is you telling your story as if it's already happened, okay? So with your eyes closed, imagine saying, oh my gosh, so-and-so, I just had the most incredible year I could have ever imagined. And here's what happened. I grew my business to a half a million a year. I built the dream team around me that I'd always wanted to work with. I took 10 vacations this year. I bought a vacation home. Our daughter is now in private school, like whatever it is. So I just want to give you a moment and I'm just going to give you a moment of silence. And you can certainly pause this if you're able to play along right now. And I just want you to go there and imagine you're telling that story. So go ahead and just, just imagine that. Beautiful. And as you're telling the story, I want you to tune in and notice. And and you may, again, want to pause this and take more time to, to really imagine telling the story. And again, you're telling the story in reverse, like as if it's already happened. What I want you to also tune into is what it feels like in your core. What does it feel like in your stomach area to achieve this amazing revenue goal and to tell this story? And I want you to take that feeling and multiply it by 100. Maybe it's a feeling of peace or confidence or success. Just multiply that feeling and send it way out into the universe. Awesome. Good. And what I want you to remember is that that feeling comes first. When you lead with that feeling and take the actions that are right in front of you, that's what leads you there. Awesome. So the last step is to then write this down as a journal entry, okay? So it's very simple. Take a blank piece of paper or in your journal and write down, like, you know, date it um, December 31st, 2021 and open up with, I just had the most incredible year I could have ever imagined and just start writing and write everything that showed up for you in that visualization because this is your new story. And I recommend putting as many details as you can in there. You know, put in, um, put in how it felt, how it feels to be in that moment, put in like the new team members you added, maybe you launched your podcast, you bought a vacation home, all the things personally and professionally, just write that whole story out. And what's amazing is that it's such a powerful process because you give yourself permission to begin to live that story. I hope this process was really helpful for you. And I invite you to listen to it again. Please share it with your friends. Leave us a review. Um, go to salescoachnow.com forward slash giveaway after you leave the review. And you can leave the review on iTunes. That's where a lot of the reviews are right now. And, you know, in closing, I just, I just want to say, you know, thank you for being one of our listeners. Um, we are making a lot of shifts in the company, but I'm not going anywhere. In fact, I'm up leveling. So watch for those changes. And I hope you up level along with me. That's it for now, everybody. I hope you make this your most epic month yet. Bye for now.